friends. How are you today? So, you know, doing these every week, I sometimes get stumped in terms of what am I going to talk about? Uh, by the way, if you have any special requests, I do take special requests. So don't forget to subscribe and to put your comments down below in terms of my YouTube channel, because I love to talk about things that you're interested in. But as I was thinking about what I'm going to talk about today, I was really reflecting upon my 30 year, well, 32 year career. It's almost 32 years um, in terms of what has been going on. And when I coach and I do executive coaching with leaders, sometimes I have to remind them, how'd you get in that seat? Like, where was it that you, like, what was it that got you to where you are? What got, was it that got you recognized for what you do? And how do you stay engaged and passionate? Sometimes we have to remind ourselves because, you know, we get a little bit longer in the tooth and our career where we, we get farther and farther away from what truly brought us to those passionate things that get us up in the morning and originally got us super excited. So that's what I'm talking about today. I have this theory that every piece, every piece of our career is adds up. And when we step back, it creates this beautiful mosaic. But you need every piece to tell the true story because we have to own what we were doing, even in our college jobs, even in our high school jobs, because we were learning and those were formative and foundational. And there goes Molly. <laughs> those were formative and foundational to who we were and who we are. My very first job, it was in high school. I thought I wanted to go into merchandising. Little did I know that once I got into retail, I did not want to do that. But I had the great opportunity to work for this boutique men's clothing store. And that was my very first sales job. In addition to that, I worked in radio. I worked in radio at the still, I had just graduated from high school and my before I even started my freshman year of college, I was in sales. And I also worked on air. Now, don't get too impressed. The radio station that I work for was itty bitty. It was an AM country radio station. Garth Brooks, yes, I'm aging myself. This is 1988. Garth Brooks had really just come out. So had Reba. George Strait had been around for a couple years. And we only had the FCC license during daytime hours. That's how small it was. But it was right down the street from my house. And the gentleman that was hiring also worked in a band. And he saw someone breathing that could fill some time and said, yeah, we'll put you on the 5 a.m. time slot on Saturdays and Sundays if you're willing to work then. And that's what I did. I worked on air. One thing that it taught me or two things that it taught me were how to slow down and use my diaphragm. It also got me to really lose my Cajun accent. So if you can imagine, my accent was even worse than it is now. But yes, it was. a. And now it's more of a Southern accent. You can hear a little bit of Louisiana in me if you pay a lot of attention. But it's fully Louis, it's fully Southern but not as much Cajun as it originally was. They slip in every once in a while if I make a trip to Louisiana, which I'm doing this weekend, by the way. So listen, we all add all of these. It's a great, those were great experiences for me. What I learned in working in radio, I actually transitioned in terms of when I leave voicemail messages, I am succinct. I, much like I am when I record these vlog posts, I try to be at least, um, I get to the point and that's why I keep them short and sweet. So what did you learn from those previous experiences early and formative in your career? What are you carrying with you as I hit my mic? <laughs> what are you carrying with you that you are taking into the next phase of your career, whether it is your mid-career or you are preparing for retirement or whatever it is, we really have to own those accomplishments. I don't know about you, but some of the things that I was had the great fortune to do when I was, yes, this is an early picture. Again, there we go. 
That is a very early picture of me in my career in my 20s in Lafayette, Louisiana, working in the ad agency business. Um, but I look back and I had these great experiences. I had such amazing experiences. And now sitting here at almost 54 years old, I'm thinking, why did they put me in charge of that? But I stretched myself to get to where I am at that point and continue to stretch myself every single day. I hope you're doing some stretching. I hope you're doing some ownership of the great accomplishments that you've had in your career. If you need some help with that, if you don't know how to do that, don't hesitate to reach out to me. I look forward to seeing you soon. We'll talk soon. Thanks. Thanks.